Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform. Rap is at war with Odd Future Wolfgang. The sky is falling, and the only thing that can save rap now is sensitivity and compassion. <laughs> uh, Jesse Thick, everyone. That's right. And Mel, and Mel, if you have any more uh, Odd Future slander, you know you can't save you in the real world, right? That guy moves. <laughs> He can't. He can't save you. Who can't save me? That's a stupid ass question. There you go. A uh, quick, quick role playing. Who who wants to uh, do some quick role playing? Uh, Mel, well, Mel, Rose, doesn't, just, Mel just, doesn't seem to be volunteering himself, so uh, I volunteer Mel. Okay, Mel, are you there? Hold on, hold on. Did I not call it? <laughs> Did I not call it? I was just off by like a minute. Well, okay. just edit all that out. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. I am. All, all <laughs> right. Where are we? Uh, quick role play. Who wants to volunteer? Uh, I'll volunteer. I was. I would have gladly volunteered before I was so rudely interrupted. What's going on? Okay, so you're writing the biography of Jesse Fairfax, okay? And you're okay. interviewing me about my life. So mm-hmm. you're going to ask Jesse, do you have any fond memories of being married from 2014 to 2019? I know, I know where this is going, and I'm gonna get the drop ready. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I guess I guess I should I should literally ask you these these questions. Right. Okay. So uh, Jesse Fairfax, do you have what was any fond memories mm-hmm. of being married between 2014 and 2019? In 2019. I don't recall. I don't recall. I don't recall. <laughs> now, fun fact, guys, but before she blew up, I was friends with uh, that dojo cat. Like, we were oh, actually really? free. Yeah, she, she went a little Hollywood on me now. I don't hear from her as much anymore. But I was talking with her, you know, venting kind of about the marriage at one point. And she said, the marriage, however, oh, I no. agree. <laughs> Maybe... The worst marriage in the entire world. Not good. Emotionally lost. Oh, man. And I said, but Doja Cat, I love this woman. All right. She said, the reasons to stay together don't make sense. And Listen, this is, this is great because... We we just our our last guest on this episode, Chris, is happily married. I was just talking about doing a little sound check in at his wedding, and uh, the duality and of rap, the duality you know? of man, the duality of rap. You know, I'm loving. I'm Best loving of love the to Chris. Spectrum, the range Best of love. on this show. Look, I'm gonna hit the drop for the uninitiated. The song, however, I agree. The worst, maybe the worst song. In the entire world. Not good. Lyrically, lost. The worst song. The lyrics in the song don't make sense. <laughs> I thought you were going to say matrimonially lost. <laughs> no, emotionally lost. <laughs> now, you guys told um, me uh, you guys told me the first guess was good, and then I had to bring my A game. So I got, I got the A game on today. My God. Well, I'm, should I'm should I keep going? No, I said you have to have. I said you have to have the A. You're always on your A game. You have to have the A plus game because Chris was on his A game. All right, should should I keep going? Knock him out of the box. Come on, come on. What are you doing? You're the third member. Okay, asking questions. Right. (laughs) Listen, you know, should I should I knock him out of the box? That's a stupid ass question. Right. You know. So, Mr. Lyle Horowitz, Mr. Melvin Birch. Here's why I don't respect you and nobody like you. <laughs> You're the type that gets off on getting on Tyler Wolf. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Birch and Mr. Horowitz, you don't know Tyler Wolf or anyone like him. 
<laughs> so whatever you say is totally for Casper the Friendly Ghost to me. <laughs> Melvin Birch, uh, Melvin Birch, you are no MLK or Jesse Jackson. <laughs> You're just another Don King with Basquiat hair. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, I'm done. Uh, For now, well, I'm done. <laughs> the third member. What is it? Hold on. Let me. <laughs> the third member, Carter Three. Let me. Let me. Hit, what was it? Jesse's back, y'all. He's back. He's back. He's back. This isn't Jesse's house. This isn't no, Jesse's it's house. not. That's it's... once a season. No. He's, he, he, Jesse's, Jesse's house, house is coming is in season four. Top of top of oh no! Season. It won't come season four because I'm done. I'm done with the show. That's right, man. Well, I mean, you can continue Jesse's house. In Jesse, four. Jesse, if need be, if this fool is really telling the truth and he got signed to a record deal, um, Listen, you tried to tell me you might Corey Elms was no good. Number. Well, the the industry they finally came around on me. They thought different. Okay, no, so. Okay. Listen, I'll still fund the show if you need anything. I'll use that rapper money. I'll funnel it back in, into the show. I wish you the best, man. You know I do. It's just you know I gotta I gotta I gotta get out of here. My my rap dreams finally came true. <laughs> what more can I say? All right, oh well, man. Well, Jesse, next season uh, you'll rank the final season with this idiot on it, and then you and I will take the mantle as the new co-hosts of the show. You'll become the second member, and uh, and then Mel will be lucky to be a guest twice a season. I'm not invited back to the show I helped found. Fine, M- maybe helped. once. A, no, so, once a season. But, once a season. Twice a okay, season. Okay, well, that's much, all I ask. You know, and and then maybe okay. you'll become the new third member. But oh wow, we'll see. okay. We'll that's see. a that's a heck of an honor. I mean, look at the third member. We it got might become, now. but but you know, it might also be a conflict of interest. So we'll see. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I think it's fine. I'm a new kind of rapper. This um, Corey Elms, it ain't no conflicts and no interests. You know, I'm interested in everything, so there's no conflict. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a bar. I should write that down. Oh, I'm interested in everything. Oh, that's that's gonna kill him. <laughs> so there's no conflict. Okay, where were we? Little Wayne. Little Wayne would be happy for me. He's the guy who got me started on this path. I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm ending. My my tenure on this show with the guy who got me started rapping. This yeah, is poetic okay. justice. No Kendrick. Okay? This is a beautiful day for me. Come on. You know, it, all of the signs pointed to this being the right move. Okay? Joe Biden gets inaugurated. Mel's rap career finally works out. You know, on the Little Wayne episode. I, I, you got you to gotta respect it, Bulls. I know Jesse respects it. I just I always I know respect these- it. I know See? how these deals tend to work, you know? I know I talked about it on the Rich Gang episode, but I know how these deals tend to work. When you're dealing with shady people like, you know, the uh, you know, the, the 300 people and stuff like that. I ain't signed the 300, though. You'll find out. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know how the deal went. But that, yeah, that ain't well, what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the beat and how it, it was building. <laughs> we let the beat build. What is this? Track, uh, what track is this? I don't know what track this is. Track 10, right? Track 10? Is that what this is? Track 10? Let me see. Yeah, track 10. Uh, Let the Beat Build. Um, Produced by Diesel and Kanye West. Yeah, not Uh, Kevin Nash, but Diesel. Oh, I wish it was Kevin Nash. (laughs) Is this a Kevin Nash type beat? No, absolutely not. In the fact that, like, Kevin Nash would be like, you know, F him. You just like... (laughs) Nah, this isn't a Kevin Nash type of beat at all. The type of beat Kevin Nash is... Oh, okay. The fuck I mean, out of here. I just, I just had to ask. You know what? You know, you know what this? You know what this is? And what it's is? apropos because he ended up freestyling on it. This is a Cameron Purple Haze ass beat. Oh, okay, okay. I follow that. Follow that. Well, before we get too deep into the song, I just. You know what we gotta do first, uh, because we got Jesse on the third member. We we don't we don't usually on the guest spots. We do we run down the rating system for potential new listeners who were brought in as a result of uh, having the guests on. But he's more than a guest. Jesse's the third member. You know, soon to be the second member once I'm out of here. So you know, uh, 
I think we can skip that whole rating thing and the rating system and just get to the ratings. You know, that's what we do when Jesse's here. So uh, how do we, who usually starts when Jesse's the here? The guest usually starts, always. Well, I think, well, before we do that, can I do a little uh, history with the album? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Do I mean, listen, you, you're, you're our guest. You do you, whatever you want. Okay, so I took a brief uh, account of all of my appearances uh, earlier. Uh, I believe I have them all written down. MF Doom, my most sentimental artist. Uh, Twista is a seven uh, to me. Uh, Eminem is like an eight overall, you know, when you balance out his career. Blueprint is not uh, one of my more sentimental albums. Uh, I love Tyler, but Wolf wasn't that sentimental. Carter 3 is the most sentimental album that I've discussed on here to date. No spoilers. But there, there will be more uh, albums that are probably more sentimental to me coming up, you know, on future appearances. But Carter 3, uh, when this came out, this was, I kind of spoke about this a little on the Wolf appearance. Carter 3 was the, my, that was my, I'm a little down today, I'm a little depressed today era. Uh, yeah. two, 2000, roughly seven to 2010 uh were some dark times in my life uh Same. Same. so w- when this album came out uh it was very uh it was a f- i found it very fun uh it, it definitely uh, lifted my spirits it is in my platinum uh record club 87 percent uh wow. let's see here yep uh btm is not making an appearance today uh, I think you guys explained who BTM is. On, yeah, you're uh, BT in the Black Tempo man, <laughs> right? He he's he's not making uh, an appearance today because I I'm gonna defer to you guys as like the Little Wayne experts. So if if it's like rated higher for me, I'm just gonna go with you guys ratings. Uh, but but I do have a uh, I do have a surprise for you. BTM is a wrestler and a wrestler. Uh, yeah, but he's he's a wrestler. And here, and here is his Mel. I'm sending you. Check your email in a second. I'm sending oh. you his. I'm sending you his theme music, his entrance music. Oh, okay. Uh, are you gonna play it? In the, we play it live on the show. We can play it live on the yeah, show. We're gonna. Of course. Yep. Yeah, spoiler. So for future seasons, you know, whenever BTM is in the building, this has to be oh, his entry. Yeah, his entrance music. Okay. Right. So wow. I just sent. I just sent it to you, Mel, and it's pretty appropriate, uh, considering the times that we live in. <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, let me see. Um, is it Allentown by Billy Joel? No. Okay. That's a great record. That's a 10 out of 10, actually. That's a, 10. That's a spoiler for uh, Billy Joel rankings. Right, which no. we'll do when we get to uh, 297 patrons. <laughs> wow, that's a... No, is that an arbitrary number? No, 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 you, no, you know what? Something? I'll do it now. 516. We'll do it when we get to 516 patrons. It's 516 Long Island area code. You know? Okay. Yeah, that, there you go. There you go. All the right, theme, well, the um, theme music was put together by the third member. Okay, oh, well, here we go. Okay. It just I didn't. I, I'm gonna, I didn't produce it, but you know, I, I kind of put some stuff together. All right. Well, here we go. Well, you did more than Swiss Beats on Doctor Carter. I bet. Is it <laughs> Doctor Carter? Uh, seven. I like it. Seven. You were proven wrong. Just stop. I was proven right? wrong. I was. Geese erections I are it. good. Jesse, they where are. do you stand on geese erections? I have no clue what geese erections are. Dr. Carter, fly go the hard. Like, fly go hard. Like, uh, it's not a great line, but Dr. It's, Car- it's not depending on how you. I was in your boat, Jesse, for like a whole hour until I recontextualized the line. It's I thought he was saying it like two it's separate things. Saying. No, uh, Dr. Carter's a nine to me, though. Oh. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're getting carried away. We just did Dr. Carter. We'll return this in a second, but I'm going to play this, uh, the black the black tempo, man. Uh, this is music. So here, here it is. I'm just gonna here, here we go. World premiere. <laughs> and you ain't black. <laughs> black. And you ain't black. <laughs> Yo, hey, hold on. 
That is that is that is top three moments of the show. I gotta so announce, that is, I gotta that announce is, him. Mel, I gotta announce him to the ring. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And you ain't black. Making his way to the ring. Weighing 176 pounds. From Old Harlem. The Black Tempo And you ain't black. (laughs) And you ain't black. Yo, yo, man. I'm changing my bit up. That was top one moments on the show, and it's and it's not one. You that was top your one, and it's not one. You changing your ringtone, though? Yes. That was that was a beautiful. That was that was amazing. That was <laughs> that was for inauguration the, day. Happy inauguration day, everyone! It is hey. January twentieth. Jesse, uh, Jesse just just dropped one of the greatest things. He, ever. Listen that. We told him to come on his A plus game. You cannot get outshined by any guests, and by no means was he ever. Is he? Gonna, he's not going to get outshined by any. It's just you know what it is. Third I got business. I, I got a lot more. Yo, I, mean, listen, I love, I love me, Jesse's the... appearances because he always comes with like a bag of goodies. You know? Bag of goodies. Oh my god, bro! What kills me about that is the black. This <laughs> 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 a... Oh my god! All right, that's a real oh. song. That's like a whole song. I don't think you're gonna get copyright restrictions for that. But I just added Joe Biden on top of it. <laughs> That's a, that's great. That's a real song. Yeah, that's it's a real amazing. song. It's a oh real song. wow! Oh. oh, speaking of a little uh, Biden humor, what does what did McDonald's CEO Joe Biden say when Mel tried to get a rap rankings meal? <laughs> uh, and you ain't Mac. No, that was my thought too. So I, I I've got nothing. What do you say? And you ain't Trab. <laughs> oh. oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, folks, Jesse's on a roll. Oh, shout out to that Travis Scott meal. That uh, what was it? What did they call it? The the uh, Cactus what was Jack. that called? The Cactus, the Cactus Jack, Jack meal. Bang bang, yeah. you know. It was a good deal. It's a good. It was deal. a good deal. It was a good meal. Thank you, Trab. Thank you, Trab. They said, you know, there's news that uh, Trab might be wrestling. I mean, uh, versing and versus uh, future. Oh, well, Bad um, matchup. And I Bad gotta matchup. tell you, I gotta tell you, like. I, even though, you know, I'm not so hot on future these days, he would smack Travis Scott silly. But I got to tell you, whatever round that Trav brings out that burger, I don't care what future plays. <laughs> Cody and crazy. Okay. 56 nights, 56 days, March madness, April madness. It don't matter because, wow. all right, that burger is going to crush anything future plays. So my official thought on Trav is that he's not the worst to me anymore. Macklemore is, but, oh, Macklemore's back, by the way. Yes, uh, friend of the show. My name is Blue Sky. Hit us with uh, horrible news today. Mag is back. Yes. Why is it bad news? Because he he depressed both Mules and I in the middle of the season. Doing that oh. review, he nearly killed the show. Well, now the he show's nearly gonna be over broke. anyway. But, you know this guy over here. Yeah, it is, but it was almost over earlier. I almost didn't make it to reveal myself as Corey Elms. It was, it was just, oh god, that review, man. I, I don't know. I, I don't know why he was allowed to, to pull that heist on. Well, on, now he's on, back. On he he wrote a song like a farewell song to Trump, basically. Oh, got it. Should, should I play a little of it? Yeah, let's hear it. Let's fuck it. Let's hear a little bit of it I'll live on the air. Bit. I'll give him a little bit. Listen, give us, give us uh, no more than a minute, please. Okay. Oh yeah. Look, we got to get to what the beat. They, they, the people are wondering. They're like, "Where's the beat?" And it thought it was supposed to be building. Hold on, we're, it's building. You know, it's building, building. you know, we're getting the raw materials together first. <laughs> Yo, this <laughs> the thumbnail on this video on the Macklemore thing. It's like him in a booth. He has like a mustache and a wife beater and like a white hat. And it's like the 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 caption words at the bottom of the screen of the thumbnail are "What the fuck are we gonna do now?" 
Trump's over freestyle. Okay, here we go, y'all. Yo, hold on. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. You yeah, know? I'll, I'll give him this, at least. Wait. <laughs> at least. I think getting... I think... I'm just going to say this, okay? In the interest of fairness and what's best for business. It, I think Ryan Lewis, getting rid of him was a good move because, I mean, it's still Macklemore at the end of the day rapping. But that beat sounded more like a beat to me than most of the shit that I heard on that album. I'm a, I'm gonna tell you this, what I just heard. Uh, it sounds like a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was actually entertaining. Yeah, he's still heavy-handed, but like, I'll allow that one. If the heist was like that, I would have enjoyed it more. Personally. Uh, that 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 YouTube pro bono line that was that was all right that was like that was like in the category of 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 good bad bars. Hold on, we did we did. Uh, oh, it's true, it's true magic. You don't remember most Def doing that on Dollar Day for New Orleans? I don't. I don't. Did he do that? I don't remember that. All I remember about most Def is the Guantanamo video. Yeah, he said <laughs> so, um, we reviewed the album, bro. I know. I think you gave the song a seven. All right. Well, all I remember is him going ah ah in the chair. (laughs) You know, Jesse. You ever see that video? I have not. Okay. So (laughs) most, so most deaf Yasin Bey, whatever you want to call him. What do you call him, by the way? You call him Yasin Bey? Not really. He's most deaf to me. He's most deaf. Exactly. So most. I'm gonna name him Clay. I'm gonna call him Clay. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. So his mom named him most deaf. We're gonna call him most deaf. So Mos Def uh, did a, a video, I think around like 2012-ish, where he put himself through the waterboarding and like prisoner abuse that people go through in Guantanamo. I think I've heard him. about this, but I don't recall watching it. Was Dude, he like in a he, desert or something? No, he's like in a room and they're like putting like a feeding tube in his mouth and like a thing in his nose or something, okay. right, Mel? Yes. They're yeah, force feeding him, I believe. Yeah, it's just oh my god, it is like it's supposed to I, call attention to how they treat prisoners, and and it's just it's an uncomfortable watch, which I guess it's supposed to be, but it's uncomfortable in a way that <laughs> I don't think he intended it to be. You know, um, I guess but, check it out. No, people, don't check it out. If it's, you get it's, the time, it's the hardest thing you'll ever have to watch. Don't watch it. Okay. <laughs> Don't watch it. Uh, Ignore yeah, it. it's the reason why I remember that. And and when it comes to our most deaf music review, I don't recall that. So yeah, um, I have yeah. A, oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say we can let the beat build now. But go ahead. You, you, oh, no, you. no, I had a, I had a brief segue from that uh, Macklemore song. So this is new lexicon for the show. You guys can choose to use it or not. Uh, but okay. more goodies. Uh, this is the cool caterpillar scale. Okay, and I'll I'll explain what that is in a second. Uh, so New Year's this past New Year's Eve, uh, we got the news, you know, MF Doom passed, somber day, or what have yep. you. Uh, and I was explaining to you guys on the Doom appearance, I didn't really have time to process it because you, you know, New Year's Eve, hanging out with the girlfriend, uh, she's over there, you know. Uh, we did some edibles, you know. I got some of that. What in gushy? 
<laughs> Hold on. We never get to play that, so I'm going to play it. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Wet and good shit. What? <laughs> Yo, Jesse's on fire, man. That's called motherfucking sex, Redacted. You know nothing about that. I don't. Oh, Virgin Mail, y'all. Virgin Mail. That's right, Moles. What what Mel know about that? He know nothing about that. In the words yeah. of Ti. Um, but but anyway, um, we're we're doing the edibles and what have you. And at one point, my girlfriend she asked me like, "Are you cool? Like, are you handling you know your your high well or whatever?" And I think I meant to say, "I'm cool as a cucumber." Okay. Uh, <laughs> But like this, it was like maybe Ter- like it was like a Terrence Howard character just came out of me or something, and I said, <laughs> and I said I'm cool as a cool caterpillar, and this was me being high. Uh, so so <laughs> Macklemore is a zero on the cool caterpillar scale, uh, but the examples of being cool as a cool caterpillar, you're not like just the number one rapper. You're like the coolest guy in the world, and examples of you know cool as a cool caterpillar like a 10 on that scale that's like jay-z in the big pimpin video or the hey poppy video Nas okay, in the chinchilla okay. on top of the bodega in the hate me now video okay. uh 50 cent in the club video uh the whole dipset era camera i really mean it joel's dipset anthem jim jones we fly high uh ja rule and drake okay, have I never been I high well. right ja rule, and, this. ja rule and drake might have been number one rappers but they've never been high on the cool as a cool caterpillar scale so Macklemore, Wayne, a, Wayne is cool, right? That that was a transition. Uh, Wayne in the Lollipop video, he was cool as a cool caterpillar. He was. He was cool as a cool caterpillar. For right. sure. Yeah. Okay. He was a 10 okay. on that scale. So yes. Now we can get into discussing uh, Wayne. Well, I just want to say, I would probably throw in Corey Elms. Um, no. And uh, yeah, bro, he's it's he's cool as a cool caterpillar. He cried um, on, this, on this last episode we did. The last, he's, he cried. Uh, He's an artist and he's sensitive about his ish. You know how it goes. And and uh, the moment that made him cool as a cool caterpillar was signing the deal. You know, yeah, so right. um, good. Stuff. Everyone has to agree, not just Mel and Corey Elms. Exactly. Uh, it was, it was the same. Well, person. no, we got who did you say? Well, Terrence Howard too. Hey, hey, man, he cool as a cool caterpillar, man. You he know? knows nothing hey, about hey, Corey Elms. He knows. I know about Corey Elms, man. We we used to hustle and flow back in the day together, man. I gotta work on my Terrence Howard. That's a pretty you good really, Terrence Howard. You really do. I mean, all I did was say man. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, I think you'll have an opportunity to do that soon, Mel. Oh wait, no, you won't, because you're leaving the show. I forgot. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know where I'm going. I won't get to work. All right. Well, Jesse, we gotta work on our Terrence Howard impression for next season. All yeah. right, sounds good. Good luck to y'all. <sighs> well, maybe we'll have one, like I said. Let's uh, let's let the beat build. That's fine. All right. Um. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Ratings. Oh god. That dang. wasn't okay. Jesse's house. That was like Jesse's garage. You know. <laughs> the, it was the the front door. Jesse's front porch. You know. Right. right? It's like oh hi oh Jesse what's going cool? yeah get that get that going before we uh, let the beat build. All yeah, of my right. commentary was based on Little Wayne in some way or another. It was, uh, yeah. Jesse's he he does this, man. Listen, it all comes he's, back. He's an astute analyst, I and mean, he's not just the third member because, uh, you know, he he pops us regularly. So you yeah, know, so Papaws. No, <laughs> <coughs> uh, oh man, uh, <laughs> folks, I don't have COVID. I just all have right, uh, well, allergies. Who wants to start uh, off with their rating? Papaws. I was looking for the drop. Uh, yeah, who wants to start with the ratings? I guess I go last. All right, uh, I'll go. I'll go first. Okay. Uh, to quote, to quote your favorite uh, modern day rapper Jesse. To paraphrase, I should say, "Let me get a seven. <laughs> Take me, baby." <laughs> One of the few good go. songs on Dan. In uh, my opinion. So yeah, let me let me get a seven, and uh, right. yeah, flat seven for me on let the beat build. Well, uh, listen, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, say uh, 
The same thing, except add a plus. Okay. Seven plus. You know? Uh, uh, again, I trust you guys, and I defer to you guys as the Wayne experts, but for me, this song is a 10 minus. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 10 minus? <laughs> yeah. Of a 10 minus in my oh my life. god! This show is this show is amazing. What this is brand this is brand new. This is it's well. Here's the thing: we never said that was not a rating, right? Right, but 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 is it, it was implied plus? that like a ten just a ten. What's a ten? Like plus? a ten what's minus. A 10? What's a ten plus? <laughs> Beyond a ten. Again, in rank in ranking the rankings for next season, no spoilers, but I have an episode I give a ten plus. Yeah, this is wow. Wow. So for me, 10 minus means perfect song, one of my favorites, but like slightly flawed, but more than a nine plus. You know what? I have a but proposal. I, I, have I can't proposal. give it the full 10. <laughs> okay. I have a proposal for, for when I leave the show. Mules, you can adopt it or not adopt it. Only Jesse has access to the ratings 10 minus and 10 plus. He's sure. the only man in the world that can, the only person. Yeah, who that's, I got to say, that's very Meltzer-esque. I love it though. I, I probably it, I probably won't ever give a song a ten plus, but that episode that I love so much it's a ten plus because you wow. guys went over and over and above on that one. But yeah, this song is like perfect, one of my favorites. You know, but it's like very yeah, slightly it's flawed. Pretty crazy that to hear that because not for nothing. I feel like this season I don't know it's uh is this season has not been the blockbuster season of like. You know, we've had all this problems with Corey Elms. It's it's mired the Don't season. Don't blame this all on Corey Elms. We were dealing with an insurrection. There was an election. There was, uh, you know, this ain't on us. You know, what's that? What's that old song? Who was that? It ain't my fault. Did I do that? No. And I mean, I, I know Dan. Fault. Dan said the Macklemore episode was his favorite episode in history, and you're saying you haven't even gotten to that one yet. So, right. I don't know. I Season three no. is a cult classic. It seems it's a, yeah. it's a classic so far. Wow! Listen, well, we were just barely holding on. We were fighting through a storm of uh, BS to get this show out to the folks. You know, so yeah, happy to hear. But so you give this song a ten minus, right? I give it a flat seven. Mel gives it a seven plus. Um, I I hate to say it, Jesse. I mean, you know, we ask our we ask our guests what song they want to come on for. Right. And this is a song that, like, I've never had much commentary for it. I know it's a song that's somewhat of a Wayne cult classic. Like, I don't think it was ever a single, but people tend to really like this one. Um, I think I get why they like it. I don't dislike it myself, but I have issues with it on both the production standpoint and the rapping. Okay. So my Same, issues actually. on the production standpoint is the beat doesn't really build that much. It does. Okay. Go ahead. It, it, to me, the <laughs> beat doesn't build enough for my liking. It sits in the not building mode for a very long time. And then when it starts to build, I feel like when Wayne says, when I hit the kill switch and you get those 808s, like, those drums kind of hit, but like the drums don't really hit. And and who do we have on production, but none other than Dr. Kanye West, a man who uh, is a known rumble pack drum purveyor. This one doesn't have rumble pack drums on it, but it feels like the drums should be hitting harder. This is, when this they come is, in. This is the beat that we built up to. All I got to yeah, say is, just, Oh fuck, fuck this motherfucker. Oh, uh, that's Kanye West. Oh, get the fuck out of here. (laughs) You know, that's how I feel. So This isn't beat building rankings. And the beat, it's like just the loop of that. (laughs) Ah, 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 You don't ah, understand gospel. You ain't black. Yeah, 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 (laughs) yeah. You know, so like, it doesn't progress, though. It's the same thing looped up. And then the drums come in and they're not hitting hard enough. So I feel you. I have issues with how the beat builds. And I have to say, I think for as many like great standalone moments from Wayne on this song, 
he kind of just rambles on some of this. Like the rapping is just aimless, good rapping, but he's not really making sense. Can, can I just say before you move on from the music, I feel like after a certain point, or maybe it's not even after a certain point, I guess once Kanye got on as a solo artist, like with each passing year, I feel like he got lazier and lazier with the production he would do for other people. You know, because like he really, that wasn't his livelihood anymore. He could keep the good beats for himself because he was established as a solo artist. So it felt like he was just getting, like this beat, is low effort. Now I know it, it kind of is supposed to be for the concept and that's what makes it work. You know, it isn't much that's happening. The idea is that the beat builds in real time and that's the point. And that's the, that's the whole idea. But like, like you said, it's just, Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I like the beat, but I don't even think it's like incredible, you know? It, it the beat it literally is what it is. The beat builds. It starts with a sample. Elements get added. It builds up to that hook. Like the eight oh eight comes in. You know, it bangs a little harder, but doesn't bang as hard as I think it could. You know, um, as a concept though, it's fun. I like it. I like the build up, even if it doesn't all the way like drop like with the it, weight that I want. It just that's the problem though. Is like when Diesel just has that like eight oh eight solo. Uh huh. They do kind of hit, but when the drums in general come in... I don't in, even think they hit then. I, for the I record, mean, I don't like the mix on this song. But I, I'll say this, like, when they first come in, like, when the first the drums first come in, I'm like, man, this isn't like... You know, you think of something that's, like, open for a long time before the drums come in, is, like, International Players Anthem by UGK. And, like, when those drums come in and Pimp C starts rapping, that's, like, very impactful. You know, like, uh-huh. it's... Like, it really hits. Whereas the drums on here, just, like, I don't think it builds up to to what it could be. And Wayne, I would say, like, 60 to 70% of his bars are good. 30% is just, like, he's just kind of going for it, but not, like, we were kind of talking about this when we were discussing Dr. Carter, was, like, this isn't the Wayne that I know killing beats. This right. There is, like, a level of restraint being shown here. So I feel like on that level for me, it's just like the beats of seven, the beat could have been like a seven plus eight minus, but doesn't bang hard enough for me. And the rhymes are like a seven minus seven plus maybe, but not worthy of the cult status that it has received. Uh, I dropped a link in the chat if you want to play a little bit of this. Um, What is this? Cameron did a freestyle. Oh, okay. I know I've made a comparison to this beat sounding Purple Haze-esque, but uh, I like the Cameron version just the same as the Wayne version. I give them both sevens. Like, So, I, I mean, Wayne in his prime and Cameron in 2008, 2009 when he did this freestyle, certainly not 2008, 2009 was not what I would call prime Cameron. Uh, I think Wayne should have done a little better on this one i think kanye and diesel could have stepped up to the plate a little bit more and making the beat build a little bit but this just gets by with me um let me play this camera on thing here we go Where the clap at? I'm waiting on the clap to come in. The beat. Did, did it really take this long to build in the original? Dude, in the song, it takes almost two minutes for the beat to drop. Yeah. Not the whole beat, just the clap. The clap's supposed to come in. 
No, I don't think so. I think the, I don't think the clap comes in until like 32 bars in. Nah, I it didn't take that long. I don't remember it took that long. The, you guys, the, Ray, the, Ray J, the Ray J Brandywine it made me chuckle. You guys um, don't understand that the song is about dynamics, and it's all about the first time pop when you're listening. It's like no, it, no I, 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 I do understand. I agree that that's why when originally, not originally, when I was uh, listening to this song to rate it for the for the uh, the show, I was like, okay, maybe a flat seven. But once yes, I, at the beat, the, the, and when it drops in, I'm like, okay, go ahead, that's a seven plus. That's a good stuff. That's a good because once it drops, you you have to smile. You have to smile. You know, you, that, you, you can that first you listen. That first listen when you don't know why the song is titled Let the Beat Build and it's right. just and he goes, I am legend and I'm Will Smith. Now that's how you let the beat build, bitch. I think there's a show <laughs> called Tim and Eric where where there's yes. like a, a gif of like the exploding fireworks where the guy's like <laughs> where his hands well, are over his on. head. Ex- explain this to me. Yeah, why is I'm I'm a gif. Like, what am I missing? I am legend and I'm Will and I'm No, Will that, Smith. that line that line sucks. That's a good sucks. line. No, After me there will be none. I'm legend and I'm Will Smith. He no, I some, get it. He needed something to rhyme with "Let the beat build, bitch." Exactly. That was the because hook. I because I Will Smith doesn't make any sense. Right. He said, what "And I'm he's saying." He said, "And I'm Will Smith." And I'm Will Smith. Yes, he said. I always I'm, heard it as he's, "I am no. legend and I Will Smith." No, he said, yeah, "And I'm Will." Smith. He said, "And I'm Will Smith." He said, "I'm Will Smith." Hmm. But I mean, anyway, if he says, "I'm Will Smith," then that makes a. That hundred percent more sense because I am Legend of Will Smith movie. But anyway, um, the first time he said, "Now that's how you let the beat build, bitch." Euphoria. I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit, he did it! He's like one of the goats." Now, <laughs> like I, I don't hold Carter three. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I hold Carter three higher than like all of his other solo albums. I don't hold Carter two as high. I, I like it. I respect it. But uh, this album was the, uh, this album was the one for me. Um, just want to say, uh, and this is a this is a problem or issue for me across the whole album. Like, um, I don't know if I, anyone else I got noticed. It. I got it, folks. I got it. Got what? I am legend, and I will Smith. That's how you let the beat build, bitch. A Smith, like a blacksmith, like a huh? No, no, you're huh? you're, huh? you're huh? reaching in genius territory, right? Now. You're huh? reaching. Smith, you're reaching. smithing. Like I like letters. your interpretation. I just feel like because you build, he didn't because no, I am I get legend. It. Because you do the I am legend, it connects to the last thing because he's I am the one, you know. And I, I will it. smith, and that's how you let the beat build, bitch. Like because I'm smithing, I'm, I'm you know like a blacksmith there, you know? Huh? Huh? Listen, Anyone? Uh, the, no, Jesse you sound like that bad in the chat. That that moves is extra loud. Yeah, you sound like that bad website. <laughs> Listen, you you uh you might have been on that genius and didn't tell us, you know. Was, I wasn't uh, on that genius. I'm never on that genius. You always have to tell me what they said. Well, I might have. You, you, you can tell me that. Listen, I I had Corey Elms from the world. You could be one of these like main contributors to Genius, and I'd I'm never not know. main. I'm not main or anything else. You could be Mac main. No, I'm not Mac main. Um, let me just say, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. I, across the whole album, the, uh, I don't know if anyone else noticed, like the song starts louder than it actually is for the rest of the song. Like once his vocals come in, like even before the verse, like he starts ad libbing, like you hear the sample get lower. It's like someone's like messing with the fader on the whole song. And like the mixes are wildly inconsistent across the album anyway. Like, you ain't got nothing as mastered like Mad Low compared to other songs. Um, okay, Let the so beat build is kind of like... interesting because, I mean, we're not up to that one yet, but um, you ain't got nothing like... I don't, know a... if I, was, I don't know if I was turning that one up loud in the car because I was feeling the beat or if it just felt like it was too low at like any other it's volume. too low until the part where they bring the 808 in and then it might blow your speakers out. It's just the, the balance... Right. On the mix is terrible on that. Record. That's that's oh. my only six on the album. Oh, you you don't like? No. You think, maybe the worst Alchemist beat 
in the entire no, world. Get out of here. No, that's like uh, kind of. Get like, the fuck no, out of here, no. you motherfucker! No. Off no. the top of your head, what's a worse alchemist beat than that? Any, any alchemist beat from like the last four or five years. Oh, you're kit. You're tripping. Alchemist has any been on of fire. These fake, any of these fake Mad Lib beats he's been making. No, he's been on fire. No, I'm yeah, gonna have to hit this for more. Get he's the been, fuck listen, out of here, you He's been on fire, all right, and nobody's bothered to put him out. He's a the burn unit has shown up. He's he's, he's a, the he's the goat of this era. Who's the goat? The goat, the goat of, this of this era, era. production wise. Of what era are we discussing? Past five years. Oh my God! You're Who's saying better? Like, almost anyone. Name His names. Beat, one. He used bro. From hold on, hold on. Don't like. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. I his, like you. His only peer is like Mad Lib on the Bandana beat. Whatever the second. Oh no, uh, Mad. Listen, Mad Lib has fallen far off the map too. Oh, you're, you're tripping. That second Freddie Gibbs album was amazing. Freddie but Gibbs. Modern era. Who's I'm better than me. Alchemist? I'm gonna tell you in just a second. But first, I gotta talk to you about Alchemist. Can't believe we're doing this right now. I can't believe this. This is not what I signed up for today, but you know what? You Alchemist know what? rankings coming soon. Listen, I'm uh, because look, look like my girl Taylor says, "Look what you made me do." Hold on a second, I'm gonna pull them up. All right, oh, I'm gonna no. pull them up because you, you didn't make me do this. I'm just, Alchemist I didn't make you do this. He's allowed to have an opinion. I, I don't. I don't think you know do enough about that Alchemist. Oh no, no no no! I definitely Trust don't. Trust me, that's a ira- that's Jewish erasure. Okay, all right. What? He's Jewish. He uh... is. All right. So let me let me just hold on. I'm pulling it up. It shit takes so long to load because there's so much. Here it is. All right, you're gonna say okay. Hold on. First of all, this Alchemist beat on the "You Ain't Got Nothing on Me" is better than any song that Alchemist has ever produced with Freddie Gibbs on it. That's a no fact. way. No That's way. a fact. I'm, that a, beat. I'm not even a big fat, a Freddie Gribbs fan, and uh, I'm going to have to disagree with that because there were some beats, I think, on that Alfredo. Did he produce that? Yeah. He produced the entire not thing. Not even a big Alfredo fan. but Look, I, Alfredo's that, a perfect example when you compare. Hold on because I'm really – I don't want to have to do this. That's the thing. It's, it's embarrassing to me to have to do this, but I'll do it. You know? Fuck it. You don't have to do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, so all you're gonna do is try to tell us some, uh, worse beats, and we're gonna disagree. No, nah, not worse beats. Come on, bro. So let's I, let's go. Let's go. Bring it on by Fat Joe. Okay, 1999. I said okay. last five years. Alchemist no, 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 no. wasn't great. We're then. talking about the last well, five no, no, years. No, 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 no. I'm talking about these are better beats than what he Alchemist beats in 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, three, four, five, all the way up to. I would say Alchemist's last great beat, like, was him and Prodigy, like H and I C two and Return of the Mac. Like Alchemist's entire last decade has been uh, completely disappointing. He's making fake Madlib beats now. What uh, happened to the Alchemist sound? Yeah, you the, don't like the shit that Alchemist made for Mob Deep back in the day. You don't like got it twisted. That wasn't the argument though. When, okay. when you hear that, like, come on, come on, man, like. No, my argument is that Mad Lib has, I mean, that uh, Alchemist has fallen off. That he can't be the producer of the. Now, you want to know who the producer of the last decade was. I'll tell you one thing. Five DJ years. Mustard, DJ Mustard, not five years, but DJ five Mustard. Years. DJ, DJ Mustard. DJ Mustard got better beats than Alchemist does right now. That's a fact. Oh, uh, I mean, BTM wasn't even supposed to show up, but he's here. Mel, give me my music. Oh. <laughs> Uh, here we go, y'all. He uh, impromptu run in from uh, <laughs> BTM. By God, King. And you ain't black. Is that BTM? Making his way to the ring. Weighing 276 pounds. From Old Harlem. The Black Tempo black. Man. And you ain't black. You ain't black. Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride around uh, Fiorio with the windows down playing this. For the record, I'm gonna do it. 
But uh, okay, so, so rate rate the uh, link I just dropped. Twenty seventeen Alchemist. It? Yep. Rate it. Yeah. First what do you listen. Mean rate it. What do you mean rate it? I don't have Spotify, bro. You should know this about me by now. Can Mel play it? Oh, oh, I heard this. I heard this already. I have this album. Okay. That that's a what? That Beats beat sucks. Worth, beat, yeah, it's not a good beat. Oh, get get the fuck I'm, out of I'm, here, you motherfucker. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I like. I'm gonna... get the you, fuck hold out on, of hold here, on. you motherfucker. Hold on. Mel, Mel, you're a Quelle Chris fan now. <laughs> pull up your rank. Hold up. Pull up your ratings. I'm just of this being album. an instigator. You you rated this album in 2017. Pull it I'm, up. I'm just, I'm just being pull, an instigator. Well, no, no. Pull up your Quelle Chris rankings since you want to be an instigator. Pull it up. Oh, you did this Why? album. Tell you did this album. Detail. No, you did this album, Quelle Chris, since Jesse wants to talk See, about fucking Quelle Chris. See, you messed up and let the mules bill instead. Now look. All right? Like, I don't, <laughs> like, I don't have it. Listen, pull uh, up that Being You is great. I wish I could be you more often. Mel, what'd you give that album? If Mel uh, disses this album, I, I got... It? If Mel disses this album, I have a song. Uh, uh, I have a song prepared. Year, 2017. 2017. Bro. I don't think it is, because I don't see 27... It's not in my 2017 rankings. You heard it. You it must not have been good enough for you to rate it. You don't like Quelle must, Chris Mel? Uh from what I heard, I think I'll pass. I think I like his uh his wife. Is he married to her? Yes. I I, ha- I have a song now. Well, you don't like wife. his wife? You gave her a mixtape, like the worst review of any mixtape we've done so far. Uh, that yeah. was a mixtape though. Yeah, I I definitely have a song one now. Project. I have a song is now. It, is, is it Count Basie, Jean Grey, Baby Girl, I love you, but you gotta get off Twitter? No. Uh, here, here's my song. Bing, 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 bing. Hey, this is your Olympic small penis hero, Melvin Birch. And you're listening to Moles and me on Rap Rankings. Oh, it's small. It's small penis. <laughs> oh, look, man. I I got another I song know. if you want it, Mel. I mean, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm quite like... I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I got another song for you. You know what's extra? You know, Jesse, what's extra suspect about this? What? Mel like, like Mel's like a big open mic ego fan. He I'm likes a huge Milo. fan. He likes Milo. He likes everyone in this guy's orbit except for Quelle Chris. It's the oddest thing. It's the weirdest thing. He's the Quelle Chris hater. As if he wasn't already the MOP hater, the Twister hater. We found a notice, new notice I'm not denying this one. All right. Well, I got another <laughs> I'm not song. even a hater. I just, I'm not, I'm not going to defend what do you give? What do you that. give that album with him and his wife since you talked about his wife just now? I don't now. think I like that either like that. I, I, will, <laughs> I will say as a Quelle stan, I'm not crazy about that album. How are we getting Quelle Chris at airtime on the Carter 3 review? You got to ask the third member. <laughs> oh, this was an Alchemist debate. Yeah, and, and, and listen, and, and, Alchemist, and literally any Rock Marciano has been making better beats in the no last way. decade than Alchemist. Yes, no that's way. why he barely. That's why he barely works with Alchemist, and Alchemist is begging to work with him at all at all costs. Alchemist doesn't have to beg to work with anyone. He wants to work with Rock Marciano. He works with all the knockoffs. He works with all the fake Rock Marciano. They've done music together. Listen, I know they have, but but trust me, he knows. He knows what's happening right now. Uh... Who's been making better beats than uh, fucking this guy? Quelle Chris. I don't know. Quelle Chris he's, is making better beats. He's, he's a great producer to me. Yeah, he's, I'm saying he's making better beats than Alchemist in the last five years. I wouldn't say that. I think so. Uh, mm-hmm. What about... what about uh, Man, there's so many. So, so many. DJ Premier. You know, the nasty... Five years? Himself. They're getting out of hand now. Oh, you know what? Pete Rock. What about Smoke Dizza and Pete Rock? Don't Smoke Rocks? Pete I played Rock. that album once. I liked it. But oh, I that album's like... No, you're tripping. That album I liked nice. it, but I don't re- remember it. It's too much music no, out you're there. From, you're from Old Harlem. Uh, what does that mean? You, you love Smoke Dizza. I guess. He's... he's you like edibles? He smokes... Uh, you know? He's... He smoked Dizza's an eight. Alchemist is a nine, but his last, I'd say since he started fucking with like Action Bronson, Odd Future, like this whole era of him, pretty much like since, since like, uh, the last thing I really liked from him was Albert Einstein with Prodigy. That was what, 2012? Oh, you ain't black. 
I'm not black, and neither is she. You're correct. Uh, Mel, you still there? <clears throat> Hi, guys. Okay, we're going to stop with this. And we're going to talk about something else. <laughs> uh, fucking, I don't know. Uh, London on the track. Uh, anyone. So, anyone. Lil Wayne. Uh, Isn't he Summer not, Walker? Not producer? Hit Boy. Not Hit Boy. Okay? Not Hit Boy. Alchemist is better than Hit Boy. I think Mel wants to move on. I don't even listen to Alchemist like that. <laughs> He's just trying and, to start and, an argument. And that's and that's another and and that's a song later on in the album anyway that this whole thing came from. You ain't well, got he's, nothing. He's on just me. he's just mad because he he doesn't like those grimy beats from Alchemist. He likes those fake Mad Lib beats from him. That's why I he's haven't mad. heard the fake Mad Lib. I've heard him. I don't remember him. And Mad Lib is fake Mad Lib now. Come I don't on, know what's going on. You're gonna say those Freddie Gibbs beats are on the level of a Mad Villainy? Of two a different moto. Two different types of artists. But I'm talking about the beats, bro. He he patterns himself after the artist he's working with. You you couldn't give Doom those uh, Freddie Gibbs disagree. beats and vice versa. Yeah, yes, you could because those Freddie Gibbs beats they they have no they, they don't sound they're not they don't sound like they're made for Freddie Gibbs. Mel, play Cataracts right now, please. I'm gonna send a link. Freddie Gibbs is. Uh, I mean, listen. He made it. What was he doing before he made shit with Mad Lib? Not being good. Not good. Nah, that's see, see, you're you're tripping. His best Not shit good. is without. Freddie Gibbs is literally trying to appeal to the Jessies of the world, who if they do an album with Mad Lib and Alchemist, all of a sudden they're Freddie Gibbs fans. Meanwhile, they will completely disregard the music that probably populates about 80% of his actual catalog and say this guy is one of the greats. I can't with these people. These Freddie Gibbs truthers out here are just, they're too much to deal with. I'm not that big of a a Freddie Gibbs fan, but his last project with Mad Lib was the best thing he's ever done. Mel, play that second link I just sent. I have to say, I thought it was almost terrible, but there were maybe four songs on that whole project. Oh, no. The song I sent to the chat is like a nine plus. Because here's the thing. This has been my issue with these collaborations, whether it's his album with Alchemist or the two he did with Mad Lib. Although there are some on Pinata, some beats on the first one that I thought were pretty decent. Um, Gibbs attacks every beat like it's a big beat and Mad Lib doesn't make big beats. So he's rapping his ass off on these like drumless beats that were made on an iPad. I mean, just not good to me. Not good. I don't go to Freddie Gibbs for this, and I don't go to Mad Lib for this. I, those two things, it's it's just like Run the Jewels to me. Like, it's it doesn't go together well for me. So basically you're saying Freddie Gibbs is, I mean, Big Clit is better than Freddie Gibbs? Absolutely. Oh, no. Would, no get any the day of the here. week, any day of the week, I 100% believe Big Clit is better than Freddie Gibbs. To me. Not not a better technical rapper, but to me, the better artist, the better song maker, the the, the more creative uh, musician. All right, I think Mel wants us to get back on track. This is a nine. You're proving my point. He's he's rapping over no drums beat like there's drums on it. All right, now you can cut it short. I haven't heard a drum yet. That's a nine. Where's the drums? I don't know. <laughs> Mad Villain had drums. You're telling me that Fred, Mad Lib, MF Doom couldn't rap on a, on a sample with no drums on it? Like... Just because Freddie Gibbs is rapping fast, he's doing something? That sounds horrible to me. Where's the drums? Where's the beef? 
Where's the beef? Let's let the beef build. All right, you saw off get lost for you scream. Where's your teeth? R.P. Sean Price. Oh, Sean Price. Listen, Alchemist made classic records of Sean Price back when Alchemist made beats, and and not listen. We all get lazy. We all start looping up shit and not actually making beats. It's all good. Just don't expect me to say you're the best producer of the last five years. Mel. Uh. Oh yeah, I was just, I was, just, I'm still here in track ten. Uh, I got a call from Wayne. He says, uh, "What's going on?" I listened to this show to hear about the Carter Three. I don't know who Freddie Gibbs is. I don't know what any of this is. You got to remember, folks, Wayne. He doesn't listen to anyone but himself, so he's he doesn't he doesn't know what's happening here. Um, well, tell him I said congratulations it. for being pardoned. I'll let him know. I just want to say congratulations. <laughs> this oh, is America. No. Oh no! The congratulations. Hey, please rise for your new national anthem, no, Jesse. No. The this is America. Congratulations mashup is. I heard actually. I was speaking to. Um, President uh, Biden and he was telling me he's going to replace the national anthem with that no um <laughs> so uh, I was I was just I was going to say uh, <laughs> so Diesel uh, told Double XL Wayne came to him and said I have an idea I want to do a song where over time the beat just gets progressively bigger and bigger until the hook drops. We went through that whole song together because he knew how he wanted it to feel at certain points. He made up all the vocals on the spot, man. The whole song. It was recorded in about 30 minutes. Um, Detail got his ass whooped by Drake's goons, right? No, that's Detail. Oh, okay. What happened to Diesel then? He didn't get paid, probably. Oh, that's what happened, right? There was all those disputes about the producers not getting paid for this album, including Alchemist, which he never got paid for so long he had to stop making beats with drums in them. I um, think it's too poor to afford new drums. I think Diesel is doing fine with that Fast and Furious money. Is is he? Wait, did he's I miss a, something here? He's a Diesel is a star of Fast and Furious. It was like nine of them. <laughs> oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay. That, that I'm disappointed that went over my head. Um, let me just say, uh, Sage Wayne talking about I pay my dues. You keep the difference. I can see the end in the beginning, so I'm not racing. I'm just sprinting because I don't want to finish. They diminish. I replenish. Uh, words to live by. Look, journey, that's good. It's almost when he starts speeding it up and trying to show out that he stops losing. He starts losing this the the meaning, you know. Yeah, um, I wear bright red like a girl toe. That's uh, that's that's funny. Uh, no, no. Uh, look, he said it. He said no homo. Uh, it was a different time. Not even gonna play the hip hop homophobia drop. Uh, fingernails dirty. Now here's the line. I for years didn't know what he was saying, people. He says, uh, fingernails dirty. I've been counting dirty money since 1230. For yeah. years, I heard it as fingernails dirty. I think I'm dirty money since 1230. And I like, tried to make that make sense in my head for like, I think I'm dirty. I don't know. This is the guy. I can't that, even remember how I used to rationalize. This tucking his tail between his legs and leaving the show because he can't. He doesn't understand geese directions. He doesn't understand anything. No, I understand that now. I'm leaving because I I'm told you bigger and better things. I've I've achieved my my rap dreams. I don't need to do uh, uh, the show anymore. But um, yeah, Wayne, uh, like you said, what did you say earlier? Like seventy percent of it is good, and like you know the other thirty percent. Um, you gotta love. Uh, I I throw this in the seventy percent. Um, you know when he's talking about uh. Play them if they short take the, uh, take them right back and spray him. Amen. 
you know, uh, believe that like a true story. Rims big, make the car look like it's two stories. If I hop out, that'd be suicide. No back seats, call that pairwise. Okay, this is, this is good stuff. Good stuff. Um, on this one, it's like the slower he's going, the better the verses are. And as he speeds up, he loses me a little bit. I understand. I understand. Um, how do you feel about it? Was a Mr. Geese erection? How do you feel about I told the toolbox bitches hammer time? Because that's mm-hmm. funny to me. I don't, uh, it's just not like I don't know. A goose with a big, like throbbing erection is funnier <laughs> to me than like talking to a toolbox. I mean, that's mildly amusing. Well, no, here's the thing the, the bad website said he said, I tote a toolbox. I've always heard it as told. Like you, I told a toolbox, this is hammer time, which is infinitely more funny than I tote a toolbox, you know? So I just, I don't know. Either, either one makes sense. You yeah. Know? Um, is there a baby somewhere? Uh, loud right. babies in my building. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah. where the hell is this baby coming from? Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> 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 uh, if you get uh, in, the, if you're getting in the way of recording rap, fuck them. What's it? I, I gotta hit the, <laughs> I gotta hit the drop. Two of them actually. A lot of fuck criticism em. of you. Fuck them. Okay, well you know this is that one, and in honor of who we're uh, effing. Uh, fuck no baby. <laughs> so there you go. Um, also, you know Birdman, f him too for what he did to Wayne. You know. Uh, no babies allowed on this review. Um, yeah, there's uh, Wayne, you know, he's uh, thanking Kanye and Diesel. I don't know if I would thank them for this. You know, all they did was loop up a sample and put put some spare sparse. Never remember how to pronounce that word. Drums on it, but it works. It works. But I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't be like, oh, my God, thank you. It's not a difficult concept to achieve. Um, early iPhone reference. Approving million dollar deals from my iPhone. Yep. Um, it, that line hit a lot harder in 08 than it does right. now. And now it's not like, everyone had an iPhone. Well, yeah. Now it's like, yeah, no shit. We do everything from our phones. Yeah. Like, you know, um, I always like the delivery. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take it one, two way back, like a silk white beater and a wave cap, or the wave pool, a blue by you, and I wave pool as I blue by, by you. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite yeah. lines and like yeah. deliveries on Stylish. the song. But when it's like, when I'm eating in the morning, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's the final verse. Uh, Jesse talking about, you know, the pop of like that first time you heard it and he lets the beat build and it finally drops. It's great. I'll tell you what still gets me. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, he's talking about talking about Diesel. Let me just get the 808 as I hit the kill switch. Now that's how you let the beat build. Because the whole beat drops out. Yep, and, and all you hear switch. is just a boom, boom, yeah. boom. You know, he's interacting with the beat. Now, when he speeds up, like I said, like you said, it's hit or miss. Like, damn, we get in his chest like a bunch of flam, like fucking ram on a hunt for a lamb. I'm a dumping man in a dumpster can. Some of it hits, some of it doesn't. I always laugh at uh um uh <laughs> not not I'm not laughing at Pam because Pam needs respect. To Sheena Arnold needs all the respect in the world. And uh, I heard she's like a celebrity in like Brazil or something too. Uh, it'll get oh, that yeah, story. It's I heard story. about this. Like she's like the biggest celebrity. In yeah, because right? like everybody hates Chris. It is, it's a great yeah. story. Look it up, folks. But uh, it's the combo of like just the tone of voice. Um, uh, I'm like, you ain't a soldier ass Uncle Sam here. And I'd be like, Pam, nigga, fuck your plan. Like <laughs> it's just the way the way it hits. You know, and it's not even so much the lines themselves; it's the delivery of them. Um, always, always enjoy it. Do you uh, guys remember Carmen, the group? Uh, it was like hey, Carmen San Diego. K R M I N. Is it is it the white like, right like the the uh, Chris Brown cover? Look at me now. Yeah, that's what yeah, that reminded yeah, yeah. me of. Okay, I that's a win. Either, I know that and Carmen a hip hopper. No, um, no, the TV. group Carmen. Yeah, that's I, what that I'm reminded familiar. me of. I think they're still around. I think they're doing original stuff now. I don't want to know. Wait, I are you wanna know. them are and you reference them and what was what was the girl's uh, name? Um, what what was the girl's name that worked at Complex and like she showed her breasts and she was like hanging out with Angel Diaz. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I, 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 I got the name Nikki Heaton. 
Uh, oh, oh, Nikki Eaton. Yeah. Okay. Like, she showed her breasts for, like, to go viral. And she worked at Complex for she a while. Did, she did a lot of things to go yeah. viral. There you go. Um, I mean, not actually a lot of things, but it, it seemed like everything she did was... <sighs> Are we ever going to review? Oh, she don't rap. That's right. So we never will review Nick Eaton. Um, let's just say, I'm going to say this. There was a time back in, you know, however, was it 2014, maybe 2015? I don't know. That my coon shit might have been activated for Nick Eaton. So she, she's say. attractive, but just. Well, she, the, she was. The clout chasing was a lot. She, she, uh, she did some stuff. Now, I'm not here to comment on people's decisions. As far as plastic surgery and whatnot, but uh, oh, I don't keep wait, up. Did she did she like un surgery herself? Hold on, let me see. I don't know. I don't keep up. Okay, now I'm off topic. I'm on her Instagram, which is a great place. Or at least it was once upon a time. Anyway, uh, ooh, what? Catholic school. Okay, sorry, was in the for, is, <laughs> sorry, a horny mail. I bet Catholic okay, school um, mail. <laughs> Yeah, that, I've, I've said all I gotta say actually about letting the beat build. It's a seven plus. Oh, there yeah. are lines that hit harder than others. The beat it works for what it's trying to be. I wish the mix was better. I wish all, all the I gotta say were more is, consistent. This is, this is how you let the yo yo yos build, bitch. I mean, what, what you now I'm curious. Well, who, what the yo yo yos got to do with this? And now I'm curious. Who who's horny mo they reacting do? to? Wait, who's who reacting to what? Nikki said, Eaton. No, he saw something else. He was like, oh, wait, hold. Oh. It... <laughs> Who was it? I want to see. <laughs> I'm on IG now. <laughs> give me the, give me the no, name. Wait, uh, well, no, no, I was I was on her page, and it was it was what I had seen on the Oh, on, on Nikki Heaton's page. Yeah, I, I'll put it in the, put it in the chat. There I'll there look it go. up. Hold on. That's what I was looking at. That's all, that's all I had seen. We got to log in to see this shit. Do you? Uh, I'm logged in. Uh, all right, all right which, which picture am oh, I looking okay. for? Yeah, no. Uh, it should, it should have went. It should have took you right there. I'm... Oh, she has a uh... kid now. That's no fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that that picture is an eight plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doctor Umar would not approve of me right now. Where, where Wait, is well, well where? Uh, I gotta tell you, I don't think Doctor Umar would approve of, of uh, her husband either. I uh, beg your pardon. I, I'm on her. Uh, I beg your pardon. I'm on her. I'm on her link page now. It's everything except for a damn OnlyFans. It's iTunes, you know? Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, Detox, Podcast, and an Amazon storefront. <laughs> if you put up a picture like that, we we need. We need the OnlyFans. We we need it, you know? That's not coming. You know what's coming? The Lullaby album. The Lullaby album is coming out soon. By who? Is that what she's talking By about? By Nikki Heaton. That's what she's promoting. Oh, uh, no. You got to no. get the new album, bro. She put a lot no, of work we, we into it. We don't need that. We don't, yeah. I, I, have, I have a drop for that. We don't <laughs> <Okay>. care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Where was it? I was... <laughs> Nikki... I'm sorry, but we don't care. Just, oh, no, yo, gonna get us. Is this yo. misogynistic? No, it's not. Got, it's, it's, we just don't care about the do. music. We just don't what? want the music. No, what? no one is. Unfortunately, it seems no one has ever really cared about her music, other than a select few. No one music. cares about our music. And this is this is by design on her part because she know what she led with in terms of garnering attention. Right, you Nikki know? Nikki Heaton is an eight plus. The music is a five. I feel uh, no GM, way about it. GM has already violated my uh, edict. What what's the edict? Uh, to please stop talking to me about politics after Joe Biden is con- like like inaugurated and you know like this is like the presidency is like sealed up and like I re- I'm just I don't need the I have the news I have Twitter you know I don't need the updates like I see the updates I see. Everyone sees of what's going on, you know, like we I don't need like to do this whole like what's going on thing with it. So I was just like, please discontinue this politics now. And uh or I'm gonna have to, you know, like I'm gonna have to shut you down myself like Twitter did to Trump, you know? 
So he uh, hit me up. He said, Nixon by Nixon on HBO. You watch it at all? This is not a political message. LOL. Yeah, it is a political message. Nixon by Nixon. Who's Nixon? He was the president. Yes, oh, it has, uh, speaking of HBO, did you guys, were you guys up on that uh, Flight of the Concords? I've seen it. I've seen Heard the first season, it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, well, you might not get the reference, but uh, after that Doom appearance, uh, we needed to perform Mel, You Got It Going On. I don't know if you remember, Brett, You Got It Going On. <clears throat> I, I've i I've only ever... Um, what? I, I can't remember what, what my familiarity with Flight of the Concords is. It's something musical, though. But, right. It's musical uh, comedy, you know? Right. Nah, I'm, I'm going to drop the link in the, in the thing. Hold on. I'm going to drop the, the link in the, in the chat. The, the theme was basically this the scenario was his his friend was like down he was he was down today he was a little depressed and like he he performed a song to to cheer him up this is what we needed after uh just give him i don't know maybe 30 seconds of it uh, let, me, uh, let me see uh while you do that i'm actually uh gonna run downstairs for about a minute and then i'll be right back folks Man, man, more. Enjoy your last hours of Mel. The member of this show. Hey there, Brett. I see you looking down. Don't want to see my little buddy there with a the frown. Just because I get more women than you, well, that's only because they don't know you like I do. Sure, you're weedy and kind of shy. But some girly out there must be needy for a weedy shy guy. They want you as their needle when they're rolling in the hay. Just hear me out when I say, Brett, you got it going on. <laughs> little get to know your sexuality when they get to know your personality. I said, bet you got it going on. <laughs> Not in a gay way, just in a hey, man. I wanted to say that you're looking okay, man. Why can't a heterosexual guy tell a heterosexual guy that he thinks his booty is fly? <laughs> Not all the time, obviously. Just when it's got a problem with the sex. Uh, you can cut it short. Anybody tell you? I'm going to watch the rest of this. I'm going I'm to watch this show now. <laughs> That's what we needed when, when Mel was down. Uh, about doom passing, <laughs> I would have, I would have, uh, I would have appreciated that. I, I probably need that every night. Actually, I, I've been listen. We went the beat build, folks. If you can't tell, the beat, the beats built. I think we all discussed it. So I'm gonna just until Moles gets back, I'm gonna let y'all know how I've been with it. Man, you know this. Uh, it, it, it ties into Wayne though. Wayne, when I when I when I fell in love with Wayne. Uh, I was I was a little down today. I was a little depressed, but the thing was, he gave me confidence. Uh, just at least internally, I couldn't I couldn't turn it into something that I could use in my day to day life. I still didn't know how to talk to girls, but listening to Wayne made me feel cool. Um, and so, why am I saying this again? I think I'm, oh yeah, I'm saying all this to say, uh, uh, yeah, I, I still ain't got no girlfriend. And uh, I spent a lot of time re- remembering as I was listening to this Carter three, how it was back in the day when this thing came out and how I felt. And I'm like, wow, kind of in the same, same place. place. Oh, shit. Hold on. Look at Please. this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this is this? tripping chords. Gave me an unintentional delay. See, this what? is all the more sign that I need to go back to rapping. This is why I'm going. You know, no, this is like you know the. This is this is uh, has this ever happened on the show? Have I ever gotten food while the show was going on? I think oh, so. God, Jesse, um, what brought you to Papa Christos? Oh, just I was just on a, a whole like just foodie run. I, I went to a place. In uh, Koreatown, and Papa Christos was like two miles away, and I was like, Ja Rule said try it, so why not? Wow. Are you familiar with uh, Gold Tongue Fried Chicken? Gold Tongue? Gold Tongue. Gold Tongue? Uh, I'll, I'll shoot the link to, to the chat. Oh, you gotta shoot that link. I'll he, be familiar with it within the next 48 hours. Like, this guy makes the best... That. This guy makes the best Korean fried chicken in the... Yo, I got, I got, a, I got a take that is not going to rub you the right way. And, and he's a film guy. I uh, got something that's not going to necessarily rub you the right way. I'm just letting I'm, you know. 
I'm ready. I think that... God damn it. I pulled out the headphones again. So he's a uh, Korean he's filmmaker. He's a Korean filmmaker. Whoa. Whoa. Don't worry. Um, yeah, this guy's a Korean filmmaker, and he runs a fried chicken restaurant. Now. How Howlin' Rays was good. Oh, not worth the wait. But, I, well, I didn't... I, I had it delivered, like, a couple months ago. Oh, okay. Not worth the wait to me. Uh, I've waited three lines. I've, I've waited like three hours in line for that race. Yeah, I've, I've heard like two, three hour lines for this shit. Right. It was good. Seven plus eight minus. What did you get? A sandwich. Uh, what flavor or what? Spicy. Like the, the hottest one? No, the second to hottest. Second to uh, hottest. I, I wouldn't do that. That's too hot for me. But um, That's too ha- hot. Okay. Howling Rays is eight eight minus I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something okay you know the farmer's market uh by on third third street? street yeah okay they have a place in there something chicken place called like the chicken coop or something in there they make a better hot chicken I'm gonna put it down I'm gonna put it on the line right now because here's my thing the chicken was great Helen raised the chicken was great I think that the the slaw or the cat, you know, whatever they, the, the other shit they put on there. Right. I wasn't crazy about it. I, I thought they, the, I, I like a spicier dressing as well. You know, a more flavorful dressing. I always get that like on the side. Mm. Um, but yeah, this, this gold tongue is pretty, he's, this guy, he knows what he's doing. Uh, I'm going to do it right now. Gold tongue. Yeah. This man eating on the show. <laughs> It's, right. a new, it's a new regime. It's a new world order. He's eating gummy be bears. Part of this. Uh, oh yeah, Wayne, drive through eating gummy mm-hmm. bears and shit. Yeah, um, folks, I think we want the beat build. All right, we we got. She, she was getting out of hand now. Uh, Western we beat build. Fort. Okay, listen, Jesse, I'm right by Papa Christos. About two miles in away. Case, in case any of you want to try to John Lennon me, I'm right by Papa Christos. Um, I'm, I'm going to see about this gold tongue right now. Fuck, do I go to gold tongue chicken? That, like, I'm literally eating right now. I'm thinking about gold tongue chicken now. Bro, the, the people, they can hear this. What are you doing? I'm, I'm tipping I'm tipping my delivery driver like a good man. This is why I left the show, folks. One, because I'm moving on to bigger and better things. But this man got on me about supposedly clipping my toenails during the thing, during the recording. And he's sitting here eating, tipping drivers. I mean, you know, fish, I, I'm if, oh, we have Gold John Chicken right here. Folks. Oh, they're closed, it says, though. When, when are they open, though? Clap for Jesse, the third member. You ever, uh, um, you ever had that? 24 hours. He's open pretty late. Uh, you ever had that Monty's Good Burger? Monty's Good Burger. I'm not sure. We'll be back. Uh, best after this break. Best plant. Ba- Eleven. Hold on. Best best plant based burger of all time. All right, uh, guys. We we've made it. Uh, you know, this is the season finale. So I, I just want to, and it's inauguration series, day. Series series finale. Oh uh, well, series finale, season finale. Uh, and it's inauguration day. So I just want to say, Moles, Mel, we did it. We made it through season three of Rab. We did it, Mel. We did it, Mel. And, and Mel, give him that uh, that BTM outro for for Kamala Harris. Is she the Black Tempo woman? Sure. Featuring the song features Joe Biden, so we're celebrating yeah. them for the outro. This this is them walking, wacky scenario uh, time. This is them, you know. Walking after the inauguration, holding each other's hand, and everyone's clapping. All right. And she says, I'm black. And you ain't black. Black. And you ain't black. Van Jones crying, talking about character matters. I'm black. And you ain't black. You ain't black. black. All right, that's-
That was the outro. Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform.